I know you're probably wondering why is everything bunched up on the counter like this? Well, I have been out for a while now and my ingredients, my fruits, you know, the things for me to make smoothies, they're starting to melt. So I definitely wanted to do this haul before I get them in the freezer because I'm here to deliver the content, the continuous content that I promised. So let's go, let's drop that intro. Okay, so this setup was a little bit better. So what I ended up doing, I separated the freezer, fridge items, and then I have the other products on the other side. So what I'll do is as I talk about these things, I'll just put them away because they're melting anyways. So as I've mentioned before, or you probably don't remember, who knows. I do suffer from PCOS, so as of late, my iron has been really, 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 really low. Um, I'm trying to find different ways to incorporate certain foods in my diet and just been trying to take more of my vitamins. So when I did my research, basically I've always loved to make smoothies, but um, the main difference, I've never really made a smoothie with some Greek yogurt and flax seeds. So apparently while doing my research, this is really good for you. Um, definitely take the time to look. Make sure you guys can see. Definitely take the time to look into this if you do suffer from PCOS or if you just want a little bit more energy overall. But um, so I plan on making different types of smoothies. I have I did buy bananas. Um, this is acai <laughs> because I did not want to be ignorant. Acai. <laughs> I didn't want to be ignorant and say it incorrectly. And I also have mango, mango chunks, which are good. Have some strawberries. And a berry medley and I bought some spinach so I didn't buy two bags because I do know this spinach does go bad quick so if anything I can always just go to the store and get some I'm not sure if I'll be adding carrots into smoothies at all, but I mean, it's good to eat. So let me get these in the fridge meanwhile. One moment. I meant freezer, not the, well, some of these go in the fridge and some go in the fridge. You guys know what I mean. One moment, please. And we're back. So I really didn't talk about this, but it needs to go in the freezer like ASAP. Um, these are the raw Argentinian red shrimp. I figured this was a really good price for, it was about $7.99. It's really good. Definitely. Back it on up so you guys can see. It's a really good size bag. And I love shrimp. So that's going in the freezer. These are the chicken tikka samosas. Okay, so these are called the chicken tikka samosas. These are really good. Jojo stamped. Yeah, these are one of my snacks that I usually like to get over there. Also, these one. These are cereal bars. Madeline, Madeline cookies. Madeline, Madeline, help me out here. Organic split pea soup. I know Whole Foods used to make a really good version of this. Oops. <laughs> they used to make a really good version of this until they watered it down recently. So these three are new. This looks really good. I've gotten, I've had this before at Starbucks, but just the regular one. But I figured since it's spiced pumpkin, that would make it even better. This is the 
chicken or cheese ravioli. So it's thin stuffed pasta with chicken, ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, parmesan, and romano cheese and herbs. So this looks really good. Like baby Jesus knew what he was doing when he made me because I could not be lactose intolerant. And God forbid, if I were, I'd have to walk around with lactate pills all day. Period. <laughs> Almost forgot to talk about this guy, potato pancakes. Tastes really good. I've had them in a different brand, but I'm sure once I get my air fryer, it is on and popping. Ten. It has eight of them in there. Looks really good. Let me put that in the freezer. And as, as far as you can see here, it's just the usual. Got two onions, got some limes, because I realized I didn't have any limes, some bananas, and I also got some beets. And then I saw this candle. It's a vanilla pumpkin scented candle. It smells so good. Okay? Mmm, so good. So, you know, I had to get this. So, I just realized this is my first video in, like, my new kitchen. Like, new place. This is exciting. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. What other videos do you think I should, like, create? I definitely want to do some collaboration videos with other YouTubers. Um, you know, there's a couple museums nearby that I definitely want to check out. So, just have to see when my friends are free and definitely, like, explore. Because it's such a beautiful city. It definitely, when I first came here years ago, I was just like, wow, everything looks so old here. But you learn to appreciate it, you know? So, now. Let's talk about some spices. This right here is, oh, I can just say that. Let me not be extra. This chai latte is the best. Honestly, the best. Um, if you want to, usually when I make it, I like to make it with milk. Or I use like a little bit of milk and a little bit of water. And I put a little bit of um, cinnamon in the water and boil it. Delicious. Delicious. Now, as far as seasoning goes, my cabinet is a little bit bland. You know, just moved here. So I wanted to add a couple things, but not go too crazy. So I saw this, which is called Green Goddess. And... You know, it's definitely nice and versatile. And when I saw the ingredients, I saw dry minced onions, salt, granulated garlic, ground black pepper, dried chives, dry, dried <laughs> green onion, spinach powder, lemon powder, lemon oil, lemon juice, dried parsley, and safflower oil. So that sounds really good. This is not neck. I've been missing this because I literally just have cinnamon and cinnamon extract and I'm like, I need a little bit more. That's all it really is. Garlic powder. We know what garlic powder is. We know. We know. But this little guy is different. It has an aromatic and flavorful blend of thyme making sure you guys can see. Of thyme, marjoram, savory, rosemary, basil, sage, and lavender. This was so cute and it got my attention. So I was just like, I need this. Even though, you know, probably don't. Cause I'll show you my spice cabinet. It's a little dry, but you know. Please disregard the um, 
But that avocado, okay? Don't judge me, because I know how y'all are. So. This is really it. You know, of course I'm getting more things sent to me, but this is what I had. This is my favorite seasoning. I literally put it on everything. Everything. We have the complete poultry seasoning, the flax seeds I was just telling you guys about. We have curry powder, scotch bonnet pepper, ginger spice, vanilla, ground cinnamon, breadcrumbs, and here, this was a gift actually, but it has, making sure you guys can see, I actually found this in my storage, it was a gift, it was a nice gift, it has ginger, chili pepper, curry. I didn't even know it had stuff inside. Cinnamon, turmeric, peppercorn, somebody, excuse me, anybody. Tell me what this is. I don't know. Pimento, and some type of leaf. They smell good. Maybe it's for tea. But I thought, you know, this was really cute. Really, really cute. So I had no idea, or maybe I did know and I didn't remember because I recently you know, took all my things out of storage because they weren't gonna continue billing my account. No, ma'am, not here. So, I finally opened this and I'm just like, oh wow, this is pretty cool. And also, having, you know, a bunch of peppers and stuff is cool, but like, where I'm from, you just make your, this and it's all good doesn't that look beautiful yes sir yes sir so um it's also called sofrito it's basically just a blend you have you blend um onions green pepper red pepper scallions um, what else did I put? Hot pepper, um, seasoning, salt, oil. I used, um, the real virgin olive oil. I didn't have Maggie, so I used other stuff just to give it that flavor. So it's just a mixture of, um, basically the common vegetables that you would use in food. And then you just blend it. So it makes things way easier. So instead of me having to cut up i mean you can cook without it because it's not a sin you know i was doing it until i was just like you know what for me to sit here and keep cutting stuff that's a lot so you basically just cut the common day you know vegetables you know things that you would use to saute the meats and stuff together in a blender and then it becomes a paste and you can put down your meats and stuff. So this cook this cuts your cooking time like you know in half. So oh I forgot I have more. One moment. Okay guys, so this is the last thing, the last item that I wanted to talk about before I end this video. So basically this is a Dr. Broner's um 18 and 1 pure cast pure castile soap it's peppermint they have different scents but peppermint is my favorite the thing is um 
It has many uses, as you can see, the 762 million words on the bottle. But um, lately, or not lately, probably about a month ago, I did some research and it's like, you can use these creams and stuff like that on your skin, but they're really not good for you. So I have certain trouble areas, which would be like my elbows, my knees, inner thighs, and the arms that just want to lighten up a little bit so that they can match the other areas of my body. So I noticed that um, a lot of people were saying to use this online to dilute it and to just add a little bit of oil. So actually I'll show you a little bottle I have. Honestly, I prefer non-diluted, but it makes you super ashy. So I dilute it with some oil and a little bit of water so that it's not too harsh on my skin. So basically, I was reading and it, they, they mentioned that if you do this for 90 days, your skin will become, you know, like the colors will be evened out. So I'm trying to see if I could try this out and see if it works. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this before, if you've heard of it before, but I really love how I feel after I take a shower, I'm cooled down. Not that it's really hot where I'm at, but um, you know, it helps me. It's very invigorating because peppermint is really good as well. I love the essential oil between peppermint, lavender, um, the other one is rosemary, which is really good for hair growth. I love essential oils. I love anything peppermint. So I've been using that all around the house. But I made one mistake. I was feeling very desperate. And I didn't want to drive. Because the thing is, I'm not, again, I'm, <laughs> I'm not used to driving here yet. So I'm a little scared. Like today on the way back from Trader Joe's, um, I didn't realize like a train was coming so the train had to stop <laughs> so that I could go and then um it was like a stop sign so there were other cars that had to stop so that I could go like I just it's gonna take me a little bit of time <laughs> to get used to the area because the the train tracks are on the main road so you know, even though I looked to see if the train was coming, the train looked like it was stopping where it stopped, but the train stopped and kept going. Meanwhile, my car, like I'm literally in the middle of the tracks. So I'm like, okay, this is gonna take me a while. So I don't know when I'm driving next because that already scared. I was already scared. That made me even more scared. <laughs> so, sorry for my little side story. I was at CVS because there's one not too far from my school and I needed some band-aids and I was just like well this should be the same thing right you know same thing why not it's not the same thing y'all <laughs> it's not um it doesn't smell the same you know your body it, you don't feel the same it's just not the same if, you're, if you ever decide to get this, first, I wouldn't buy it online because I almost bought this online and I see that they're selling it for $19, but at Trader Joe's, this was $12.99. So that's already, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This is supposed to be the same thing, but just like, you know, a different version or a knockoff version. You know, sometimes you could buy knockoffs of things and it works out, but this is not it. So I've decided I'm gonna use this for like to clean the floor, maybe to do laundry, because I tried to use it for a bubble bath and the bubbles weren't even bubbles. They were like foam. So it was very tragic. That's the end of my video for today. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you are an avid Trader, if you are an avid Trader Joe's shopper and you have favorite items, let me know below. I'm 
open and ready to try just about anything. I'm not a big sushi or fish eater, but every now and I'm trying to see if I could eat more fish. I'm trying. I didn't get to buy any this time around because I don't have much space in my freezer, so that's why I bought the shrimp. So definitely let me know if you have a favorite item from Trader Joe's or in general. All right, make sure you stay safe, wash your hands, be blessed, and always remember pure vibes only. Thank you. Toodles.